So I was through uh, Chloe's uh, Westmoreland Intermediate Unit. When she was two, they came to the house and she gave me a few options of some schools that she could go to when um, she was three. Well, it was weird. Um, actually, it was going to be my last choice because I, I heard about it. They, you know, kids were talking, and I was like, "Well, Chloe didn't say any words." But when I walked through the door, something just made me feel like this was home, and I was like, "This is where Chloe's going to be," and I just knew it when I walked in the door. I would say to gather up as much information as you can as early as you can. The best thing is to get them implanted if you can cochlear implant as early as you can because they miss less words and they'll be talking and mainstream before you know it. You know, when Chloe started, she was three. She was uh, just implanted uh, and it was six weeks near her birthday. She started here and um, barely said any words at all. Uh, and I just think through all the teachers and the staff and all the help that you get, I mean, she has gained so much. Now she can read chapter books, she does math problems, she um, carries on conversations with her sisters, her family, her friends, she even takes dance and um, believe she does very well at dance. Yeah, I remember, um, I think it was close to her being four, it was the Christmas show that they had put on and she walked up on stage and she was this little angel and I just remember her coming on stage and she said this line. I was just amazed that she could remember all these words and then speak in front of the audience like like nothing. I just I remember crying. It was just so amazing to me. Uh, she was born uh, profoundly deaf. And um, so she received one cochlear implant when she was three because she, uh, at that time, didn't have newborn screening, so we didn't know she was even deaf. And um, she did well with that, um, but then they offered the second implant. I believe she was around seven. And I think she just gained so much more and um, just made big jumps in her schoolwork and everything. Oh, it's just amazing. I mean, they, they were always, in the beginning, they would write notes every day on a, on a tablet, what to do, um, what they can help with. And um, the staff's always there. The teachers are always there. I just feel like it's an extended part of our family. Like, I, I just felt like Chloe was always at home when she was here all day. Oh, I think she has the opportunity to do... Um, anything that she wants. I mean, there's probably no boundaries to what she can do. I mean, I'm, she wants to go to college like her sisters. Um, she's going to go to mainstream school, her big school pretty soon, and she's really excited about that. But um, yeah, I just think um, anything's, anything's possible. just feel like um, even when Chloe does leave here, I still want to be a part of DePaul any way I can. I, I, like I said, I feel like it's an extended part of our family, and um, my, my girls and I, we just... Um, don't know what we do without DePaul right now and where Chloe would have been without them. Dance. I love to dance. I did dance lessons for nine years. I would like to teach preschool, be a preschool teacher. And can you tell, um, tell us what it means to you to be able to listen and speak? Everything I like to speak to my family and my friends. And I think it just helps me. Can you tell us about your favorite class at school? I like um, reading. I like to read history books. Like I'm reading George Washington socks. Is there, um, can you think of a memory about the school, something that you really like about DePaul? That I like to be with my old teacher, Miss Bond. She helps, she makes me laugh every time. <laughs> and, yeah, and believe it or not, I mean, not even speaking a word till three years old. So that she is an amazing, I mean, that's amazing for where she's come. Yeah, we've got beautiful speech, Chloe. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's her ear and There you go. Do you have different styles for you to use? Yeah, they have stickers, and every time if I go in children's hospital, if my animals like sore, and I get new ones and design them like fashion. <laughs> <laughs> so they're kind of like they're kind of like earrings. You get to uh, pick, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah.